Yo, what is up, Comfy Gang? It's your boy, Comfy Neat. And so it looks like I failed my promise to upload four videos a week. So as a result of that, stay tuned on my server for the eventual drop of uh, Discord Nitro for free. And I will probably log on sometime later tonight. Uh, and I'll also be staying to chat since I haven't been on there for a while. But anyways, for this video, I wanted to talk about another thing that a lot of these could probably relate to. And that is the fact that I hate, I hate it when people visit the house and I hate it when there are strangers who enter the house. And I'll also be talking about what I do when that happens. So firstly, the reasons I hate it is mostly, uh, well, they mostly have to do with my social anxiety and the general fear and hatred I have for being rejected and being, uh, I guess, I don't know if looked down upon is a nice, is the right word, but more like just, you know, I hate that off, that, that look of being like off put by somebody that people can give me sometimes with that sort of aloofness where you can sort of see the contrast between when they first meet you, when everything's a blank slate and they're sort of like open and social, but the moment they sense something is off about you, they sort of, there's sort of like a subtle shift in their demeanor where they start avoiding making eye contact with you and they start, they, 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 it almost seems like they go out of their way not to look at you when they're talking or not to ask you anything unless absolutely necessary for the conversation or, you know, as an attempt to see if you're normal or not or to maybe break the ice or the awkwardness a little bit. And um, I just hate that that feeling, that feeling of being judged by other people. So as a result of that, whenever, let's say, for example, the doorbell rings or when someone knocks at the door or I hear the door open slightly and I'm nearby the stairs, I will immediately either brisk walk or if I'm far and, I, and the doorbell is still ringing and nobody's answering it or someone who's about to answer it is fairly is a fair distance away i will immediately um i will immediately stop whatever i'm doing be it cooking eating or you know yeah, playing guitar or something and i'll either brisk walk or run to the stairs and then quickly you know dash all the way down the stairs into my room close the door uh i'm not gonna lock it because my room actually doesn't have a lock but um close the door and then either a, pretend that I'm sleeping, or B, pretend that I'm on my headphones, or C, pretend that I'm gaming with the volume really loud, and um, so that it just sounds like I'm busy doing something. And I mostly do it for the sake of, I mostly do all that stuff in my room for the sake of plausi plausible deniability, not just to other people on the outside in case they do come downstairs, because they don't, uh, they mostly don't come down but there are times when I do, which I'll talk about in a few stories in a bit, but it's generally also in a way to lie to myself, to say that, you know, kind of like tr rationalize to myself almost that I'm doing something else. It's kind of like soothing myself psychologically a little bit, resolving that cognitive dissonance I experience from running to my room and hiding, because I generally like to believe that I'm a fairly normal person and i think that i i am fairly normal although well relative to a lot a lot of people out there but compared to the average person i am pretty much not just socially that but pretty socially anxious and just uh fairly messed up as far as self-esteem and confidence issues goes and uh so as a result of that i will end up resorting to these sort of behaviors and will do other things to help rationalize the way I'm behaving, even though I consciously know that what I'm doing is completely uh, effed up and stupid and pointless. Um, I do it so that, well, it's like I'm tricking my sort of lower order brain to thinking that I'm somewhat normal, just resolving that anxiety that comes from experiencing cognitive dissonance or shame or all of these negative emotions. And yeah, so that's generally reason the reason of why I do it. And um, yeah, so anyways, a few examples of this are one, for example, sometimes my family will hire these cleaners who are sort of like 
family acquaintances and uh, when when they do hire them I will generally uh, they usually come at a set time and I hate it when my parents don't tell me when they're coming because if I, I'm not aware of this then I will immediately um, run down because uh, I will immediately panic and just run to my room and lock and lock myself in. Well, I do that either way, but um, generally speaking, it is nice to have a little bit of a, you know, a head start or a little bit of notice of the fact that they're coming so um, I can be mentally prepared for having to stay in my room. But if either way, I will end up just staying in. Oftentimes, they will come downstairs and do some of the cleaning and stuff like that and I will just pretend to be asleep and I I ask I told my parents that I clean my own room and that or I I'm perfectly fine with cleaning my own room so I, I don't need them to come in and knock on the door and ask if my room needs to be cleaned so I will generally just uh yeah do that stay in my room the whole time and mostly if it's in the morning and I have an excuse to be uh asleep I will pretend to be just lying in bed and I'll roll around sometimes to make it to, I don't know, almost let them know that I'm asleep in bed, even though they probably can't even fucking hear me, but that's just sort of the thought process that goes in my head because obviously I care way too much about what, what other people think. And yeah, there's that. Another time is pretty recent is one time this uh, repair guy uh, came to the house and he pretty much only uh, he pretty much only went straight from the living room to the to the I guess the basement compartment where all the pipes are to fix something to do with the heating something was uh, you know frozen or something so it needed to be fixed and basically he wasn't even on the outside talking to anybody he would be in this uh, I'll just show the door he would be in this room right here where all the heating and the pipes are on crap and um you know obviously it wouldn't have been such a big deal but regardless of the fact that he would be in there the whole time i still locked myself up in my room and uh basically did the, did the exact same few things that i talked about and just basically spent the whole time lying in bed and uh, listening to music and um obviously you might be wondering uh if there's something like completely like effed up about me like is the reason i do this because i'm gonna end up you know attacking the person or just having a a nervous breakdown or becoming a catatonic schizophrenic out of uh you know the sheer existential dread and you know horror of having to deal with another person who isn't my parents or who i'm not well acquainted with and the fact of the matter is that, no, that's not the case, actually. I'm perfectly capable of, you know, you know, behaving somewhat normally. I, I can at least, you know, greet people. And obviously, I'm not going to be, like, super outgoing or, I don't know if magnanimous is the right word, but I'm not going to be, like, super charismatic when I do it. But I'm perfectly willing to... Um, Let's say, let's say someone uh, walks in the door, the front door, and I'm still eating, and you know, there's no time for me to get uh, down, uh, d get down to my room. I will. I'm perfectly capable of uh, just, you know, finishing my meal. And obviously, I'm even though I want to finish as po as fast as possible, or literally just, um, you know, pick up my plate immediately and dump it in the trash can dump all the food in the trash can and put it in the sink and just go straight to my room. Obviously, I have the social wherewithal to realize that that would obviously be fairly off-putting to the other person and would also make them kind of feel bad, like, because I guess everybody is socially anxious to an extent, so it might make them feel like uh, there's something wrong with them or that there's something wrong with me. But whatever the case is, I'm not, you know, socially retarded enough to actually do that. I'll just... You know casually eat my meal i'll probably greet them and say hi or something and you know i'll just finish my meal and uh you know not I, i'm not going to go out of my way to look like i'm engaged in the conversation or because obviously firstly it usually doesn't have anything to do with me and secondly uh well yeah i don't want to sit there and talk to you know 
stuff about people talk to people about stuff that i'm not interested in anyways so i will just um yeah because generally the people visiting my house are are boomers and i don't really have a lot to say to boomers because i can't really relate to them so yeah i will generally just sit there quietly eat my meal and then you know casually pick up the plate and look like i'm not panicking on the inside at all even though i actually uh you know just absolutely hate it and then i will go straight to my room and then act in the exact same way and then and i won't i won't leave my room and i won't open the door until i know for sure that the person has left based on the footsteps and oftentimes i can my, my hearing is pretty sensitive so i can generally hear when people are still in the house or not so yeah and these are two examples i mean not examples but these are um what i was even saying yeah so that's exactly uh so i mean i am perfectly capable of behaving normally i can you know greet somebody say oh hey how are you man and or hey how are you and uh, hey nice to meet you i can do the basic stuff like that obviously uh i i come across as off-putting while doing it but you know i'm capable of you know appearing as just uh quote unquote you know shy or all, a lot of that stuff even though uh i'd say my social anxiety extends way past shyness into you know pathological territory pathological for myself pretty much i doubt this sort of stuff hurts anybody other than myself but um yeah is it something i'm proud of no is it something i is it something that uh you know i condone absolutely not obviously uh I do intend to change for the better eventually, but I'm just keeping it real with you guys and basically talking about how I actually am in uh, social situations and in situations where strangers, uh, I have to meet strangers. Obviously, this is just one example of how I behave when I meet strangers, but yeah, I think it's pretty relevant to a lot of meets because a lot of us are in our homes and I have read a few posts on uh, r slash neat or some other places where people have pretty similar experiences and generally speaking neats overlap heavily with hikikomoris um i'm not gonna say that i'm a full-on hikikomori because i can't leave the house to do things but generally speaking uh i will behave like a hickey if uh given a chance and i will generally speaking uh you know isolate myself in my room for as long as possible uh so yeah i think if i keep talking i'll probably end up ranting or rambling about things that are completely unrelated so i will probably end the video here so um yeah hopefully you guys like this new camera angle and uh i'm just you know trying to switch it up because you know it's hard to uh make all these videos unique and uh yeah stay tuned for the discord nitro drop that's happening on my server pretty soon and i will be staying in chat for a bit as well so yeah this is company signing out